Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So I just wanted to share this comment because, you know, these type of things are, are beautiful to see and we appreciate them. And there's so many great comments out there every day. Um, but we just wanted to share this from Christopher. He says, I got to say, I love you guys. I just became a Patreon because I believe in your mission and you are super positive and spiritual, even with the world going to hell in a handbasket, so to speak. You're both deep, intelligent, and do excellent research. This world needs more spiritual warriors like yourselves. Thanks for the galactics, and you're both love, insight, and dedication. You're reaching people. Namaste. You know, that's why we're here, is to reach people. And so, you know, we just want to thank him and thank all of you guys. And we really are all about the mission. First and foremost. Right. You know, and things like this that come back, it's it's inspirational. It just feels good. It lets us know, okay, we are reaching people. We are touching people's hearts. We are doing what we are supposed to do. So thank you, Christopher. That was really sweet to be part of the Patreon team and that comment. Thank you. Yes, we definitely appreciate it. And starting with the news, we see at least 10 dead, dozens feared injured as a hospital that's loaded with people fighting the plague upon the land erupts into flames in North Macedonia. And this is the town of Tetovo, Tetovo, North Macedonia. They don't know what caused it. It broke out about 9 p.m. And uh, there's videos here that you could see a, a big fire. And again, we send our prayers out to everybody involved in this sad event there's been a lot of explosions a lot of explosions we have a huge explosion at a kazakh military base munition store 12 dead hundreds evacuated and they had a explosion two years ago in almost the same spot at another munition store wow. somebody needs to pay attention you know no no smoking around the no, munitions no no trying to light that thing stop that yeah, but you got to wonder, too. I mean, are, are, is there some covert activity going on as well? There's been an awful lot of these things uh, that we've seen time and time again in many different places. Biden to eliminate testing opt-outs. So, yeah, we talked yesterday that there's going to be more things coming into effect. And this is what is getting leaked uh, it's going to be all about requiring all public workers and contractors that work for the federal government to get it done or get it fired. And you know what I've heard from people, <clears throat> though, is that they are standing up for their rights and they're actually winning. You know, there's more people than they thought in their departments, so they had to kind of back down on what they're trying to enforce and allow these people their their there, rights. There's going to be even more unemployment numbers going up. And as we've said before, if you can do your own thing, that's beautiful. I, I know of so many people, myself included, that used to work for the man, work for the corporation. And of course, so many people are employed by the federal government. The federal government employs more people now than ever. That number is always going higher and higher and higher. And again, you know, we were watching yesterday, I forget who sent it to us, or there was something about Elon Musk, and he was talking about how he thinks it's absolutely inevitable that everybody, there'll be like a global universal basic income. Do you think you'll have any choices if you're taking that universal basic income in your life? No, no. Eventually you'll be told, you know, oh, by the way, you know, you're you're supposed to go to bed at, uh, at 7 p.m. And then you're going to get up at, you know, 4 a.m. And you need to be to work at so and so. It's it's going to just keep ratcheting up. And, you know, we're going to take a look at some instances of just how, how much things are going to keep ratcheting up with the lack of personal freedom. You know, my own phone, it was weird. I don't even know why it did it, but it, it I didn't set it. 
but it said it's 11 p.m. It's time for bed. It's like I didn't. I never put that in there. Mm-hmm. What are you telling me? It's time for bed. It's time to get rid of you. Is what it is. It's time to get rid of the phone. It's time to get rid of everything that is going against individual freedom and liberty. And Australians shocked after New South Wales health officer says post-lockdown Sydney will be a new world order. Actually, there's two different officials right here. This is one. And then we have the other here. They just came straight out and they said it. Well, you know, after everything going on now, of course, we're going to have a new world order. Boom. And, of course, we had the first Papa Bush talking about this way back. And you guys could correct me. I don't know if it was, was it 92 that he came out and made that statement? Or was that 88? Somewhere in that range. That infamous infamous speech so what's it all about alfie mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there's probably <laughs> nobody that knows that song well maybe one or two of you guys out there what's it all about i mean they're coming straight out and saying it and this is in australia and australia is leading the way you know as far as lockdown for sure and you know we had talked about the ratio of firearms per person in different countries. Not a heck of a lot over there. There's not a heck of a lot of freedoms and there's not a heck of a lot of disguising what's going on. It's just, they're, they're talking about it right out in the open saying it for what it is Mm -hmm. kind of wild boy. That's sort of like, is, is it me or, Feels like it's like, you know, when you put your hands up and you take the pinky down, then you take the ring finger down, then you take the index finger down, curl your thumb in, what's left? Yeah, they're giving you the big one, two. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like saying there's nothing you can do about it. And here we see Oahu and Maui are going to start, yes, yes. That thing that's been banned in Texas and some other states as well. So, yeah, if if you want to sit down in a nice restaurant, you're going to have to have proof that you've, you've gotten it done. Mm-hmm. If not, you know, back of the bus, out in the alley, you know, they'll come deliver your food to you in the back of the alley. It's segregation of the worst type that we're starting to see but you know is it unexpected no not at all this is exactly what ever you know what the people that have been awake the whole time have recognized is going to happen is happening and by the way over in the fine dining where country there's actually a, a whole new series of escalations going on to an all new level as President Xi Jinping's campaign against inequality, Xi Jinping thought it's taught in elementary schools. Foreign games and apps like Animal Crossing and Duolingo have been pulled from stores. It's a dizzying regulatory crackdown unleashed by the CCP government. And this is what's in store for the rest of the globe if you know some of the powers that be have their way again eventually it's it's not even going to be about you know you choosing anything you're just going to be told everything that's expected from you or 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 i don't know you fill in the blank guys well, yeah i mean they're setting everything up just like that so that they want as little resistance as possible. They want as many people just to fall in line and do what they're supposed to do as possible. And we need to be the ones that kind of hold out. Well, you know, there is this this statue that was put up in Georgia attributed to a Christian Rosencruz guy, uh, you know, and so many have taken the number off there to be symbolic. 
or maybe not. Maybe maybe 500 million is all you really need to actually run the planet here. That's maybe all that the true <laughs> government of of the globe again as every single human that we see, you know, they're taking orders. And when people finally realize this, that's going to be a, a world-shattering, an earth-shattering shock for many. But it's, you know, the writing's on the wall there. The writing is on the wall. How many do you really need? How many slaves do you really need to till the garden? Mm -hmm. Did you ever even think about that, too? You know, we know the Sumerian writings are, are way older. 1,200 years, 1,500 years, 2,000 years older than anything that we were getting biblically. And they talk about humanity being created as a slave race, a worker race, because the other worker race rebelled. And the rebelling worker race basically takes over a leadership position over the new slaves. Same boss, it's just like the old boss, right? Yeah. Kind of like, or we could say certain things run, just roll downhill, so to speak. But then you look at the biblical story and, you know, where does God put Adam well, and Eve in, in the garden? In the garden. They're to be caretakers in the garden. To, in other words, work the earth. And again, you know, there's, there's so much more to that, but there's so many obvious references, especially when things are said in the plural. Come, let us go down there. Chinese media suggests the PLA should send warships into U.S. territorial waters. Um, yeah, there was a statement here that the U.S. will definitely see the PLA, which is the People's Liberation Army. So, you know, that's the military of the CCP of China. The U.S. will definitely see the PLA show up at its doorstep in the not-too-distant future. So says the Global Times, which is, you know, again, out of uh, China. We know this. You know, this is part of the plan, although the timeline we've gotten for that is about three years away um, before we see that very reddish day dawning you know in america and other nations as well oh and i did find a little a, a portion of a spreadsheet i had done when deagel.com had their 2025 projections for population and you know as i had shared before what when i looked at the numbers i quickly recognized every country losing huge portions of their population were all NATO countries, N-A-T-O, and also other countries that are not necessarily NATO, but are strong U.S. allies. So what does that tell you? Let me just state that again. Because when we talk about this D-E-A-G-E-L website, who really are they? Many believe they're a front. For certain alphabet soups, one begins with a C. And I think it might have an A in there, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one begins with a F, et cetera, et cetera. D, O, O, well, take one O away, D. In other words, you know, official sources. And something's got to be leaked. Something's got to be put out there for karma. Because they know how to avoid the karmic loop. And they do it so well because they've done it so many times. So again, why do you think NATO countries might lose 50, 75, 35, 40% of their population by 2025? But yet, China doesn't lose any portion of their population. Neither does Russia. Neither does India. Neither does Brazil. 
Let's see. Hmm, there's a group called BRICS. Brazil, India, Russia, China, South Africa. You know, that's an economic group that's been set up and things have moved so far along now that it's, it, it's you know, yesterday's news. To be an alternative to what we see as far as the monetary system that's that's structured all around the petrodollar. And we've seen complete decoupling now of Russia and China with the U.S. Uh, getting out of the dollar. Which, you know, this is all one step after another. Part of a much, much bigger plan. And, you know, perhaps this plan has been around since 1871 or thereabouts, maybe even older. Severe floods hit the Asian after two months worth of rain in three hours. 6.6 feet of water in three hours. Wow. I mean, can we, it just keeps increasing. And floods cause catastrophic devastation in White Nile, Sudan as well. So, yeah, the flooding situation keeps increasing. You know, of course, we have a record drought in other areas. Tropical storm Mindy made landfall in the Florida panhandle. Thankfully, she's not very strong and already will be heading out to sea. And did anybody feel this? Because they showed a 6.5. We had talked about this the other day. Strange Sounds is bringing up. Is there anybody here that's in British Columbia or maybe even northern Washington and felt this? Or was this really just a computer blip? I wonder. 6.5. Quickly deleted by the USBS. And check out the hail here. And this was in Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin. Well, that, that hail... Is bigger than an mm -hmm. apple. That could crack a skull. That's scary stuff. It sure could, definitely. Softball size hail. And so we have more eruptions. And this one is at Mount Cerberus. This is up in Alaska. And um, the explosive events are shooting ash up to about 10 to 15,000 feet above sea level. But Cerberus gets me thinking too, because Always looking for the symbolism. And do you guys remember Cerberus? The Hound of Hell, the Hound of Hades, multi-headed dog that guards the gates of the underworld to prevent the dead from leaving. Hmm. Offspring of the monsters, Echidna, and Typhon. And was usually described as having three heads, serpent for a tail, snakes protruding from multiple parts of his body, and primarily known for his capture by Heracles, or Hercules, 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 Hercules. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, anything mm -hmm. symbolic about that eruption, I wonder? Does it mean that the uh, hounds of hell are nipping at our toes or nipping at our mm -hmm. nose? <clears throat> they might be. They might be, you know, doing that thing where they're kind of opening the gates of hell. Just a little bit. Maybe that is what we're supposed to take from it. That certain powers that be are doing just that. Yep. Well, what we've gotten from the GAL Actics <laughs> is that you're going to see a lot more of this. And this is inside Missouri's Second Amendment sanctuary fight. You know, there's like eight states that recently have put in legislation uh, to become Second Amendment sanctuary states. Because if you could see what's going down, it's going to go down in layers. Again, think, think that right now we are in... A speeding up phase of a plan if you want to say it's a five-year plan because it started almost two years ago in December and we're getting to almost that two-year end point and so now there's going to be three years to go to prep things to pave the way for what's going to come that's going to help lead to these DEA, GEL numbers, which eventually leads to the whole world kind of hoisting up a red flag mm -hmm. with a few stars on it. Yeah, you know, maybe they'll throw a hammer and a sickle in for good luck. Yeah, well, we have time now to stand up and speak up and say something and stand our ground. And the time is now. 
I mean, it's really definitely overdue. And, you know, there's individual battles that are being won every day. And we, we're hearing about them. Uh, you know, we know of quite a few people that were told they had to do something. And they, they said they're not going to. Do you still value me? Is there anything we could come up with? Well, you know what? They came up with things. And even one person got a raise. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we need to assert our will our own individual will to guide our own lives the way we want to guide them. Whatever happened to the pursuit of life, liberty, individual freedoms. Ah, it's all about sacrificing for the greater good, comrade. Yes. Well, we know how that works out. As, you know, the billionaire class just gets richer and richer and you know 99 point what 99.95 maybe 99.995 percent of the world is struggling and everything is getting worse for the vast majority we're for the very creme de la creme of the elites it's getting more and more wonderful it's, it's not a surprise that billionaires have had a banner year. It's not surprising, especially billionaires from a particular country, that is to be the model for the rest of the entire world. They're definitely highlighting themselves. So, you know, congratulations, Missouri. Congratulations, some other states, you know, like South Dakota and, you know, Texas and some others that have done just the opposite because they're asserting their will. And yes, you know, we, we might find there's some Benedict Arnold's in there. We certainly know there's Benedict Arnold's in the highest positions right now. That's pretty obvious. Or do we want to say Judas? Mm -hmm. But then that might be misleading too, as again, history has been rewritten so many times. So sticking with the nearer future, going back to the Revolutionary War and, you know, Benedict Arnold, I believe he was from my home state of Connecticut, you know, thought to be a traitor to the revolution, right? Well, we've, we've talked about the Trojan horse. And when we talk about the Trojan horse, we're talking about the same thing. We're talking about, again... not having the best interests of the people in mind, having something entirely different in mind. So what we've gotten from the, again, the GF, is that you're going to see this splitting is just going to get more intense. And if certain states, if no states were fighting back, it would just be a whitewash. You might as well, you know, Go throw that new blanket that they're going to give you with, you know, it's all in red. It's got some stars on it. You might as well learn whatever songs you're going to have to learn in the CCP because, you know, that's, that's the way it's going to be for everybody across the globe. Scary thoughts, you know, scary thoughts. These are things that we... Fortunately, we fortunately have the ability to think ahead and plan our surroundings so that we have our own our own free space. You know, as long as we plan carefully, do things in baby steps, we're going to be able to have our own space and then we can teach other people how they can have their own space. But it's going to it's going to have to take time and it's going to have to take willpower and discipline. Yeah, you know, I was I was thinking of doing an analogy, trying to just put it out there. So say you're hiking in the woods, right? You're, you're hiking in the woods with your family. And all of a sudden, you hear a boom. And you see, you know, there's a tree that looks like it got struck by something. Maybe 20 yards away from you. 
obviously it, it scares you. It makes you look around apprehensively, like, what was that? Well, then you see a group of hunters and, you know, they're off in the distance and you think, oh my God, that guy, that, he might have gotten me. He might have gotten one of my family, one of our kids or something. Well, if they're looking straight at you and then they do it again, even closer, should you still stand there? Do you think it's going to be a mistake? And if they keep moving a little closer towards you, and you know, you might think incredulously, what is wrong with these people? Can't they see we're right here? And then they pause, aim, and this time they miss you just by inches. Maybe it's you that's got to think, wow, maybe I should change the way I'm viewing at this, this whole scenario. Maybe they're just, you know, not that good at what they do. Or maybe, maybe there's an alternative explanation for what's going on. I, do you guys kind of get what I'm saying? She's smiling <laughs> right away. So we have a breathtaking view of the edge of the Earth. Space station astronaut captures breathtaking view at the edge of Earth here. And this is from the International Space Station. And one of the things I had heard immediately um, with people in the comments, one of the persons was saying, look, there's a curvature. And of course, we'll still have those that say that's no curvature. Or, you know, this is just in a movie studio. All I could say is, you know, learn how to remote view or astral travel and find out for yourself. That's a good idea. Definitely. So, guys, as always, thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. We really got to speak up as much as possible now. Um, you know, the sand is running out of the hourglass as far as time for us to effectively change this timeline. It is. It is. So we really need to get serious. It's time to sit and think and ponder, you know, what are you going to do that's going to make a change in your life? You know, we are all only responsible for ourselves. We can't get anybody else to do anything that they don't want to do. But what are you going to do? Just you. How are you going to ensure your freedom moving forward? Yes. And it's extremeing about that right now. Yes. So also thank everybody that's checked out Medicinal Foods. Great stuff uh, put together by great people. Use coupon code EEA for an extra 5% off the order. And as you fill up your shopping cart, you could get up to 25% off in free shipping. And again, a regular daily practice, mental, spiritual, and physical. Make sure to take care of that physical temple that's housing your spirit, even if it is just a temporary physical temple it still is housing source as sources in every one of us. God with the big G. God bless and namaste. Namaste.